is Jupiter Today for the 2nd of March, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, Eo begins the day in quadrant 2, heading west. Europa starts the day in quadrant 4, heading east. Ganymede spends all day in quadrant 2, heading west. And Callisto starts the day in quadrant 3, heading west. At 3.37 UTC, Europa goes through a perijove, and that's the closest it's going to be to Jupiter in this orbit, and that's 664,943.1 kilometers. And then at 4.13 UTC, Eel goes through a perijove, and that's at a distance of 420,021.7 kilometers. At 6 hours UTC, EO is firmly in quadrant 2, heading west. Europa firmly in quadrant 4, heading east. And by 12 hours UTC, EO has successfully transited Jupiter, and is now in quadrant 3, heading west. Europa is just about to be moving behind Jupiter from Earth's point of view. This blue line is the line of sight to Earth, and this gray line is the line of sight to the Sun. And so at 12 hours UTC, Europa is just about to be moving behind Jupiter from our point of view. And by 18 hours, that has been done, and Europa is now in quadrant one, heading east. EO is very near its western elongation and is going to be moving into quadrant 4 heading east. Callisto has gone past its western elongation and is now going to be in quadrant 4 heading east the rest of the day. And by zero hours UTC tomorrow, EO is in quadrant 4 heading east. Europa is in quadrant 1, heading east. Ganymede is beginning its transit of Jupiter. And Callisto is now firmly in quadrant 4, heading east. There are seven Jupiter satellite events today. At 8.01 UTC, the transit of Eo begins. At 8.34, Eo's shadow ingresses. At 10.18 UTC, the transit of EO ends. At 10.52, the shadow of EO egresses. At 12.41 UTC, Europa moves behind Jupiter. At 16.41 UTC, Europa reappears from behind the shadow of Jupiter. And at 22.47 UTC, the transit of Ganymede begins. And there are four satellite mutual events today. From 11.19 to 11.21 UTC, EO occults Europa. It's a 2.2 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.815 arc seconds and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.053 magnitudes. Fairly close to Jupiter 2, 19.86 arc seconds. And then the matched event with that first event goes from 1207 to 1211 UTC when EO eclipses Europa. It's a four minute event with an impact parameter of 0.571 arc seconds and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.299 magnitudes, but it's very very close to Jupiter 7.17 arc seconds away, even though EO and Europa are 28.31 arc seconds apart. That's going to be a hard one to to see. And the other pair today goes from 1843 to 1848 UTC when Ganymede occults Europa. It's a five minute event with an impact parameter of 0.546 arc seconds and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.243 magnitudes. And it's a fairly good distance away, 49.01 arc seconds from Jupiter. And the last mutual event today goes from 2022 
to 2029 UTC when Ganymede eclipses Europa. It's a 7.8 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.257 arc seconds and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.465 magnitudes. And it's a nice distance away. Very, very good for photometric or photographic uh, events. 73.01 arc seconds from Jupiter and 45.51 arc seconds apart. Okay, orbital ribbons for today. It's a little bit more to show than normal, but we'll do the first ones first. So these are the connections, the spatial and temporal connections between the four Galilean moons. So these are the same orbits that you just saw in the previous graph, and I've just connected them in space and time. So here's the connection between Io and Europa, and Io and Ganymede. Io and Callisto, and then Europa and Ganymede, Europa and Callisto, and finally Ganymede and Callisto. And then I combine them all and colorize them a little bit to get that for today. The other thing to show today is the collection of uh, the orbital crystals that I've been constructing. This is data for March 2015, and this is the temporal and spatial connection between EO and Europa. And there's EO and Ganymede, EO and Callisto, and there's Europa and Ganymede and Europa and Callisto, and finally Ganymede and Callisto. And then I've combined all of these again and colorized them to get that, and I'm showing the, the white circles are the actual orbits of the four Galilean moons, Io, Europa, Ganymede, Callisto. And then I've just taken those orbit lines out to just show the crystal itself. And then I zoomed in a little bit here, show a little bit more detail. And then I zoomed in again, show a little bit more detail. So I hope you like those. So next on the list is 24 hours of Jupiter's sky, standing on the equator of Jupiter at a longitude of zero degrees. And we're watching Io moving in front of Ganymede there. And so we'll just see what happens in Jupiter's sky over the next 24 hours. Over that time period, Jupiter rotates on its, ass, on its axis a couple of times. But it's also fun to watch the smaller moons going around, obviously, in orbits that are closer than the, than the large four Galilean moons. And it's fun to watch them pop in and out of various shadows. I just enjoy sitting back and watching these. A very active Jupiter sky. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian three times today. First at 2.16, the second at 12.12, and the third at 22.08 UTC. There were some new images posted. And 
and there was no new radio data and no new papers. So the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere at zero hours UTC today is a right ascension of nine hours, nine minutes, 9.9 .9 seconds, and a declination of positive 17 degrees, 24 minutes, 52 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun today is 153.65 degrees, and that's 1.112 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle today is 47, 4.727 degrees, and that's 0.187 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth is 663,217,061 kilometers, and that's 1,053,936 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Earth and Jupiter of 43,914.5 kilometers per hour. And that's 1,725.5 kilometers per hour greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun, 798,754,670 kilometers. And that's 45,339 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,889.13 kilometers per hour. And that's four kilometers per hour slower than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 178.25 degrees, CM2, 15.93 degrees, CM3, 290.65 degrees. Time of this recording is 0 hours 29 minutes on the 2nd of March 2015. So please subscribe and thank you for subscribing and listening and watching. I hope this is informative and gives a different and interesting perspective on the very dynamic Jupiter system. I'm trying to encourage people to observe Jupiter more and more as often as possible and you can read about and hear about the reasons why I'm wanting this in the description video. So you can send your comments and questions and images to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.